Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells, Sunday, January 17th, 2020. Before I get started with today's video, it's going to be, a, I'm going to read an article from the uh, Trends Research Institute, Gerald Salenti's uh, um, periodical that I subscribe to weekly, comes out weekly. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you a delicious pizza my wife just made. And here we go. We'll show you right here. Whoa, <laughs> almost lost it. So I bought some pizza sauce yesterday in glass jars right here. And uh, we're just trying them out today. We're going to save the glass jars when we finish with the pizza sauce. And uh, this is the uh, finished result. So looking forward to having that in a few. So let's get to our <clears throat> our news from the Trans, Trans Research Institute, Trans Journal. Uh, Los Angeles, hail, hail, the gang's all here. That's the title of this one. And I'll read here. As we've been warning since politicians locked down nations, states, and cities, there would be a sharp rise in violent crime, and people would be leaving densely populated cities for the safe haven suburbs and ex-burbs. With people losing everything and having nothing left to lose, they are losing it. LAPD Chief Michael Moore said last week he was concerned at the velocity of violence in Los Angeles after announcing that the city had more than 100 murders in 2020 than the previous year. The Los Angeles Daily News reported that police pinned most of the blame on gang violence and access to illegal firearms but Moore told reporters he believes the COVID outbreak and the subsequent lockdowns have played a role in the 349 killings, the highest number in a decade. Shootings also increase up by 40%. What is old news to the Trends Journal subscribers is new, is new in the news today. Police say economic hardships have put more residents <clears throat> on the streets. City gang intervention workers who would generally be at hospitals working to quell further acts of retaliation are having more difficult time gaining access inside these locations. You can only make differences or you can only make inferences based on what's happening and what's not happening. Paul Vernon, a police spokesman said, he said the lockdowns played a major role in these violent trends since the beginning of the outbreak. Los Angeles times reported, the city has seen a decrease in other crimes, such as small-scale property theft, rapes, and robberies. <clears throat> the trend forecast says this. Los Angeles has joined other cities like New York, Chicago, and Minneapolis that have all seen notable increases in killings in 2020. COVID has kept children and teens home from school, and as we, re we reported, the economic fallout from lockdowns has hit minority communities particularly hard. Not only will killings continue to rise in 2021, so too will gang violence as more down and out and desperate young adults band together in the fight for money and power. <clears throat> Indeed, survivalism, one of our top trends in 2021, will attract a wider audiences of everyday people who will want to do what they can and learn what they can to protect their lives, their loved ones, their homes, their businesses, etc. So as we see the new administration taking hold here in the coming weeks and months of 2021, I believe we're going to see a greater push for um, uh, turning in firearms or demonizing people that want to have firearms for self-protection because the new administration wants to disarm us rather than have us defend ourselves in this very dangerous environment that we're going to face in 2021. So my advice would be to listen to the trends that are going on right now and take the proper precautions for your family, your loved ones, for your home, your homestead, etc., and be ready for a lot worse crime rates in the coming 
year. That's the video today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Anthony signing off. Take care. Stay ready.